this gathering, this convening, this community, and this family is creating a space for Lita scholars in this cohort and in the next cohort and the ones that follow to continue making a difference in society. Hello everyone, welcome to Lita's annual reception. My name is Sarah Radwan, I'm a freshman at Princeton University. And my name is William, I am a first year student at the University of Richmond from Winfield, Louisiana. My favorite part about the Lita experience is being able to communicate and connect with the other 99 scholars that make up cohort 12. Yeah, ever since two years ago when I got the email that I got into Lita, I never imagined that my life would change the way it did or like take the turn that it did. My name is Beth Brieger. Our community is integral to our program model. Being among a family of talented leaders who share their dreams and aspirations helps propel them forward. And LIDA shows our scholars not only what is possible, but what can be probable when you have the LIDA community behind you. It is my privilege to introduce our honoree this evening, Rosanna Duruthi. Rosanna is really the personification of what LIDA is all about, developing leaders, from diverse cultural and socioeconomic backgrounds. Good evening, everyone. It is indeed a privilege, a blessing, to be recognized with this honor by Lita. I'm Jessica Reyes, Cohort 3 scholar. Members of the organization invested in me, helped me get a foot in the door, and provided me with resources to succeed. And I intend to incorporate compassion and community, Lita's core principles, into my practice of medicine and my life. I'd like to thank my family for encouraging me to graduate high school and continue to go to Pitcher College each and every semester. Because without them, I don't know where I'd be, but I know it wouldn't be here talking to all of you tonight. Lita provided me with the ability to be a scholar, a role model, and a mentor. They gave me the ability to inspire people around me to change the world for the better, to make a better world for themselves and their communities. So the work they've done is phenomenal. And I'd like to thank all of you for listening to the story of a kid from a res who thought none of this was possible. Thank you. I know that I've got a hundred scholars in this cohort and the one that follows, and each of you in this room with a belief that we can be better together, that we can make a difference for each other, and that we can help those who don't have because what they bring is far greater than the dollars we contribute. What they bring is brilliance and they're the beacon for our future.